Hi Flosstube, my name is Lydia and welcome to my 24th Flosstube video. Um, today is June 7th, yes, Sunday. Um, we are uh, one week into hashtag finish it already. And um, I wanted to show you what I did in the past seven days. So um, I have two finishes. I have worked on my full fairy, of course, my focus piece. And um, I worked a little bit on two other projects, which I'm going to show you. And I have a little bit of haul, which I'm very excited about. So um, yeah, let's dive in. Let's start with my finishes. In my latest video, I um, showed you a lot of projects uh, which were on my list for uh, a possible finish. Some of them I realize now are way over my head, but it doesn't matter if I work on them a little bit this month. Um, you know, every stitch is one, so um, they will come to an end somewhere this year. Um, but um, in my latest video, I showed you uh, my June uh, yearbook by Lizzie Kate, and I was going to work on it after um, I was uh, finished with filming and, and, and editing, and uh, I did. So that was my first finish for Finish It Already. This is the June part, and I added the bead on here, but I think I have to attach it with another thread so it's a little bit like this but I will have to do that later I still have to fully finish this one but I'm not really into a fully finishing mode <laughs> um, this is stitched on 32 count light mocha I believe and um, it's very cute I'm waiting for my July one so I can start that one, but it hasn't arrived yet. And um, this series is very cute to stitch. They don't take long. If you focus on them, you can have them finished in just a couple of days. And uh, I really like the colors. They're fun. Um, then I have a second finish. I, I have this one. Uh, laying around for several years. I wanted to stitch this for my grandmother, uh, but she passed away eight years ago. And uh, since then, I never really touched this one, this whip again. Um, but I wanted to finish it and um, I am going to turn it into a pillow for a little pillow for my daughter's room. And this is Mara in a case with her kitten. It's a long name for a small pattern. <laughs> it's a pattern by uh, Francine Scotton, um, charted by Lennart. Uh, Francine Scotton. Francine is a Dutch artist who likes to draw cats and um, flowers, and um, mainly cats. And this is one of her patterns. Um, I have another one I need to finish. This is a small one. It's a cute, cute stitch and I finished it just in a couple of days. So it has been laying around for years and I finish it in a couple of days. So, so I'm going to turn this in a, into a little cute pillow which my daughter can uh, put up on a shelf or anything in her room. So very cute. This is stitched on 14 count Ada, which was provided in the kit. Um, the threads also, I believe it's DMC. Very cute. Then I worked on my mystery um, stitch along by Leonard. Oh. Just my magnet. Um, this was the secret stitch along of 2019. Um, I had 11 parts finished and I had to do the parts 12 till 15. 
And I started, I'm going to fold this a little bit so you can see. I started working on the, the 13th part because this was the 13th part, the 12th part was down here. And I started working, I hope you can see it, it's all white and light purples. I started working on her hair down here, a little bit here on her face. And this is also um, something I really want to finish. Is a very adorable pattern. With all those pastel colors. But I do realize it's a big part I have to finish. I should be able to do it. But... Um, and then I should focus on it, but since I have another focus piece, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Every stitch counts and um, I'm moving forward to a finish, so really, really love this one. Then I, yesterday I decided I wanted to put a length of thread in another project. It's in this pink project bag, Jantina. Um, this is my, <coughs> excuse me, uh, my linen and threads uh, stitch along of two thousand twenty. It's hard to speak today, <laughs> and I am working on the March part. And I feel I managed to put a thread of a length of thread in on this motif, and then I'm half, halfway done with March, and there is another motif under here, and then I believe we reached the bottom of the pattern. And then I have to do the big as April for Lauer, and then I can move on to May and June, and even July has released so. I really love this. I'm stitching this with um, silks for you. This is PR 144, I believe. Yes, 144. And um, these are really, really, really lovely colors. Very vibrant. And I think they are actually showing up through the color. I really love working with this. So soft, it's so nice to stitch. And I'm stitching this on a 32 count Platinum Murano and um, it's really nice to work on this one and it should lay around unstitched. So I want to keep up with this uh, stitch along. I'm a little bit behind but I'm trying to keep up and um, I'm going to put in another length of thread today. So um, The initials you can put in I am saving for uh, the end because I don't know yet if I want to stitch the initials and how I want to stitch the initials. So we will see that later. And then I have to show you my focus piece, of course. And that's my full fairy. Oh. And I have been working on this one a lot lately. I am I was behind in Mania and my, my um, goal was to um, catch up and uh, I did and now I'm even in front of my goal. I'm going to move a little bit back now. Here she is and I'm mainly started to work here moving towards each other so I put in those yellow parts filled in some lighter parts over here some grays over here and I only for this week I have done uh, 2500 stitches on this one only so yeah I am very proud of my progress so far and um, I am going to keep working on this. We are going on a holiday 
a month from now um, and I am going to bring her but I don't know if I can stitch a lot on this one so if I'm <clears throat> a little more in front of my goal then I am able to let it go in the holiday and see afterwards um, <clears throat> sorry how I am going to catch up again um, if I have to <laughs> but yeah I'm still on um, in line with my goal and I'm very pleased with that so I must be able to finish it this year and um, I'm absolutely going for that I wanted to finish maybe even put it up here on my wall <coughs> sorry and um, continue working on some other hates uh, I really want to start working on my Avramov piece my Leonid, Leonid Avramov um, and I still have some other hates and uh, my peacock mania peacocks plumage and uh, I have mini album poppy field which I want to finish so lots and lots of stitching to do um, then <clears throat> I've mentioned this before I am um, always on the lookout for some nice patterns in uh, on these stash Facebook groups here in the Netherlands um, and I found a really nice one actually um, on, uh, on this T-Stash uh, page. It's this one, it's Beneath the Sunlit Sky and it's a Loose Feathers Pattern 26 by Blackbird Designs. Sorry for the glare. This one is out of print. And I've looked it up on Instagram and hardly anyone has stitched this. But it's so cute. And I found um, uh, how do you say it? A color conversion and um, to, to brighten it up a little bit. And I'm going to use that color conversion because some of the flowers are a little bit um, a little bit muted, a little bit too soft in my opinion. So I'm going to change up the colors a little bit and I found um, a picture on Instagram uh, of someone who was stitching this third flower. She moved the pink one uh, to the middle one and then the third flower she was stitching a little mermaid. So um, I saved the picture to my phone and I'm definitely uh, going to change up uh, this pattern and going to stitch that little mermaid here and i think it's really cute uh, she never used it it's old i mean um there's a little bit of rust on the how do you call it which keeps the pattern together i don't know how you call this one in the in english we call it nietjes i don't know <laughs> But there's a little bit of rust on there. Can I show this to you without showing the whole pattern? See? And um, <clears throat> so it's old. It's from. Does it have a date on it? Two thousand and seven. Hmm, it's not that old. But um, yeah, it's cute and I want to stitch this. I'm going to kit this thing up. Um, I've also started working on kitting up some other projects. Um, I placed an order with uh, Annemiek from the Handwerk Boutique. And I'm very excited um, to start some things. And I will show you that in my next video. I hope I have my order in by then. So today will be a rainy, cloudy, not so bright sunny day um, and I plan to do nothing but stitching um, and I am going to going to start working on my fall fairy and I'm going to put in a thread on my linen threads sampler um, and I will see what my uh, mind is bringing to me today if I want to stitch on something else I'm going to um, 
I hope I can come back to you next week with another finish, but I don't know. I am uh, working towards finishes, so that's great. If you are joining us in hashtag finish it already, that's so much fun. I would really love to see all your projects that you get finished. Some of you have already joined and that's so great. Um, I really like to see those projects and um, I wish you all a happy Sunday, a happy stitching day and a very nice week. See you soon. Bye.